Hello and welcome again to What Tactics. I want to show this time a nice example of good cooperation between surviving team members. <laughs> um, I'm on the T14, uh, again, um, <clears throat> I'm not top tier, and as you can see, I go away from where I expect the heavy tanks to be. At the same time, I'm also going away um, on this other flank because I've noticed that all of my team is all gone one side. Now that, that's not good. That's not a good thing. And there's hardly anyone in the middle. And there's only just a Su-85B and a BDR with me. So I take a low profile. I'm not gonna go forward just in case there's medium tanks or light tanks that can circle me out there. Uh, the enemy also has two artilleries. So um, gonna take a low profile to begin with. Um, and it will be a while before anything shows up. I'm also waiting for my teammates to catch up, so I'll just fast forward. Hey. T25, we didn't even scratch them. that is unbelievable that I can penetrate a T25. Enemy That's hit. better. Ready to fire. Oh, sorry, I'm at half a speed, sorry. Okay, well, I took. Uh, a bit too much damage um, in that uh, situation. I lost uh, about 100 HP. Uh, I really should have played a bit better there. Um, but I'm really concerned about the situation down there. Look at that. It's a massive concentration of heavy tanks. Uh, and the concentration we had here seems to have somewhat uh, watered down. Um, I'm not sure why. But well, anyway, so we, I'm going to carry on uh, along this flank. I don't actually like to be leading the charge on this tank when I'm not uh, top tier. Uh, but at least that Su-85B is providing some cover and the BDR is following me. Um, I'd rather the BDR were in front, uh, uh, but so it is. So I'll just fast forward a little bit here. And just as I go, we're making good progress here. Uh, so I'm gonna go for base. I'm surprised there are no enemy, enemy uh, heavy tanks here and there it is T150 Well, I'm sorry uh, I Just ask my teammates to deal with it. I'm gonna press on I'm not gonna engage with the T150 on the T14 which has got barely any penetration on his gun it would be a complete waste of time I'm just gonna go for base and see if I can do what normally a scout would do I'm gonna do it on a heavy tank. I'm gonna go and try and kill the artillery and I'm making good progress here. There's basically no enemy tanks and, and I'm glad I left that spot because look, a KV-2 appeared and I'm very sorry for the Su-85B, but I'm sorry, I cannot help you. There's one artillery. Dead. Okay, let's see if we can get the other one. Oh dear, no, no. No, 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 no. He can destroy me in one shot. But I managed to get rid of him. That's good. So, do I cap? No. I don't cap because there's that T-3485. Oh, he gets destroyed. But especially, I don't cap because I'm expecting those two heavy tanks that you see there, here, to come back and not just defend base, but get rid of me. Because I'm the only heavy tank left on, the, on, the, on, on my team. So, surely they'll want to get me. And I am not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to wait for them whilst I capture the base because I'll be s too much of an easy target. So instead, I'll move towards the back of this ridge. You can see here there where I'm heading. Uh, because I can use uh, the good turret of the T14, which can bounce a few shots and just do hold down, basically. At the same time, might even be able to provide some spotting uh, uh, capability to the artillery. We've still got two artilleries. Uh, and the Hummel actually seems to be all right. It's two kills already. Uh, when instead of spotting the heavy tanks, I spot the enemy scout. Now, it's very important. Oh, come on. It's very important to destroy the enemy scout because he can basically, he can be, uh, he can turn the game around and he can destroy our artillery. He destroys our scout. But he makes the mistake of trying to hide instead of using his speed, and I can get him. Enemy vehicle destroyed. 
The reason why I was able to get him is also because the ELC has got a long reload time. And But I'm sorry, it was his, his mistake. He should have carried on going, used his speed to evade my fire instead of hiding behind the other tank. And I got him. So this is interesting. Here I am, alone, with just two artilleries on my side against two heavy tanks. Whom, they are not too bad in terms of HP. they still got a fair amount of HP. Um, but what is funny about this is that they just don't turn up. I was expecting them to come any moment now. They know I'm here. They know I'm a threat. And at the same time, I need, I'm an easy kill. And yet, what? <laughs> They're up in our base. Right. Can you see what I'm doing? It, for me, it's an obvious and immediate choice. I'm going for cap. There is no way to go back and defend base. Because, one, I'm too slow. And by the time I get back to base, it could be well too late, in which case I could be confronting two heavy tanks on my own. At the same time, I'm not such a strong heavy tanks. They're both tier 6, I am only tier 5, my gun doesn't penetrate that well. The only thing I can do is cap and just pray, just pray, that the surviving artillery, which is the homo, can reset. Even just once might be enough for us to secure the game. And look, uh, 1 minute and 30 seconds for us to go, 1 minute and about 10 seconds for the enemy to go. So hopefully, uh, one reset should be enough. Um, for security, I just hide behind this house, uh, just in case, just in case one of them comes back for me. Because you can see there's only one capping, only just one. Uh, and it's possible that the other one is coming back to defend. No, he goes and captures as well. So now it's all in the hands of the homo and we're all praying, keeping our fingers, our fingers crossed. Only about 12 seconds to go. 10 seconds. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he did it. He did it. He reset. Okay, come on. Once more. Well done, homo. Come on, homo. Come on, homo. Come on. Just one more reset. One more reset. Come on. Come on, homo. Reload. Fire. Fire, please. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Oh, maybe. Maybe he's missed. It looks like he's missed. Only 10 seconds to go. Hey, he's done it. He's destroyed the KV-2. Excellent play by the Hemel. Excellent play. That's it. Game over. We won. Look at that. Only about 10, 10 12 seconds to go. Uh, there is no way they can, cap, they can uh, finish their cap. And even if they destroy the Hummel, it wouldn't change anything. The Hummel now gets a bit uh, uh, courageous, he even goes for the kill. But um, there's no time. Uh, we finish the cap and we win. So, what is the lesson to learn from this game? Um, well, first of all, obviously go for the cap when you know that there is no chance of you getting back to defend base. But especially, well done on the Hummel. They understood what I was doing. He understood that to win, instead of running away from the base, he should have stayed there. He managed, I don't know how, but he managed to spot the two heavy tanks. And he managed to reset them, not just once, but twice. Uh, killing one of the enemy tanks in the process. Which basically allowed me to finish the cup and us winning the game. Now that's very, very good team cooperation. The, like the, the, the kind of team cooperation uh, that makes me very happy. It was definitely a battle worth fighting. Thank you for watching.